after surgery, I look like Barbie with scars. Cancer doesn't discriminate, so that's a scary thought. Everyone's like, I want to see Vinnie Myers, so I wish I could go see Vinnie Myers. I'm like, whoever Vinnie Myers is. They look complete, like in a way that they didn't before. Oh, <laughs> that's amazing. That's okay. Oh my god. This is his calling, and I feel like he's kind of sacrificing in some way. I go from being like this tattoo guy to being like oh. the breast expert. I don't know how that came to be, but uh, I'm happy to take it. Never even been in a tattoo parlor before. When I pulled up and I looked in the window and I was thinking, wow, this is really different for me. It's very different. But I want to see Vinny and I want him to change my life and he did. And you chose not to do nipple reconstruction any particular reason? I learned about you. When I found out that I had cancer, I realized that to do a lumpectomy would leave me vulnerable to a reoccurrence. So I chose to do a double mastectomy. I would have permanent scars. I would have no, not very much or no sensation in um, the area where my breast uh, would be amputated. Uh, reconstruction, I knew would leave me looking maybe a little more normal on the outside, but a very different, very, very, I'm a different, very different person. It's just a Barbie doll with scars. So I needed to find someone who would put me at a place where I, I felt a little more normal looking. As far as I, I know, there's no one in the United States that is as talented and gets it right, like Vinny does. When they get here, they kind of feel like they know me. It's kind of enjoyable to, to hear that they've been following you. Look, I've been waiting three years to have this done and to come here and see you, and yeah, that feels really, that feels really great. Usually when they get here, they're all ready to party and have fun and excited and taking pictures. They know that they're gonna be finished when they leave here, that this is the very last step. I was a little nervous about it maybe being painful. I was nervous about a lot of things. He put me at ease and worked with me, and he's so professional. Yeah, please do that. You are just in a warm, inviting atmosphere where you feel like they really do care. You're just hard like that. He's always been very charismatic, outgoing. Uh, bring me one, too. <laughs> We don't want it to feel like a doctor's office. So kind of a hybrid between a tattoo shop and an anthropologist's office so that the women can still have fun in this final stage of their breast cancer journey. Um, and the regular tattoo client can still feel at home. It's easier to see the difference between breast tissue and subcutaneous fat. He uses words that mostly um, a doctor would use but it's the way that he uses it that makes you feel comfortable and you just know you're in the right place to get that procedure done. He wants to help you feel normal again. He wants to help put you together without causing any damage. He just tattoos this perfect 3D image of a nipple on you. Take a look in the mirror at it. Oh, that's real. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? And when I stand in front of the mirror, I think, this is better than what I looked like before. Definitely consider this a family business. We actually joke that everyone should change their last name to Myers here because there's so many of us that work here. The only time these pads are completely necessary is when you're sleeping. Okay. Working with your dad is, it's interesting. I think anybody who's ever worked with their father or mother before can understand what I mean. We have to treat each other like any boss employee would, but I think, I think it's brought us closer for sure. That's cool, I didn't know that. Yeah. And I'll, and I'll be in a minute. Okay. You know, having a dad who's so involved in the art world that, you know, growing up it's just something that you do, it just came second nature. Uh, you're constantly being challenged by uh, clients. You've got to extract this image out of their head, put it on paper, and then put it on skin. I usually do art from perception, so things that I see. They gave me the description of what they wanted. I drew that image. They liked it. We tattooed it. There's something warm and wonderful about doing that. I like when someone looks at it and it's recognizable, but at the same time different, and they feel that it's beautiful in its own way because it's now transferred to a painting. And then you get into the tattooing, the nipple arena, and you lose a little bit of that. 
he was coming and doing different things on people every day, different kinds of tattoos, and that had its own benefits. I was going to get away from it for a while, and then my sister was diagnosed. And I felt like I should still be doing it now. It's kind of become what I'm doing right. all the time. Right. If anything, I think the fact that his job is so rewarding now, that definitely has brought out his softer side. You're wrapping this whole thing up for him. That's crazy. I have nipples, guys. So you're the last guy they see. Dude! Doing something that looks beautiful, that completes them in their eyes. Wow. That makes them look whole and feel whole again. And yeah, I wouldn't trade it for anything. More people found out about us, and it all of a sudden was like, bam, this is here, this is real, this is happening, so many people are calling. I've worked here for about three years. It's been a slow process. It started just sitting in on some of his appointments, um, talking to women on the phone to kind of understand what they go through, and then it's come to actually tattooing. So that's the newer step. I did my first tattoo on someone's leg a couple weeks ago. So that was exciting. The regular tattoo apprentice could take 18 months before they're touching the skin. So when you talk about a nurse or a doctor or somebody shadowing you for a couple days and then they get cut loose on their patients doing tattoos, that's completely ridiculous. You're, you're not going to learn the craft of tattooing in two days of shadowing someone. It's impossible. Uh, and that's the reason why it's easier to train people who are already tattooers because they already understand the philosophy and the technique of putting a tattoo down that's going to last a lifetime. There are tattooers who would be more suited for this than other tattooers. In so far as trying to keep the women comfortable and feeling at ease uh, in this final step, which is huge to them. You want everybody to have a great reconstruction and it just, is, it just isn't realistic. And uh, it's tough. It's tough to teach somebody to, be, to maintain that composure. I mean, there's a lot of, of factors that play into how these, this is a tattoo attempt by someone. That's her natural side. This is their attempt to get the tattoo right. So that's supposed to be that. Now, anybody who ever has picked up a tattoo machine realizes that you can't tattoo that color because it's the same color as her skin. So they tattooed this instead, which is completely ridiculous. I mean, that's a unilateral, and obviously they're not similar. I mean, so this just represents the month of February. You obviously have to kind of instruct them to be very stoic when, you know, they take their uh, drape down for the first time, not to be able to show any kind of emotion or surprise or anything like that. It can be very difficult to do that. Um, and you kind of have to work on that skill daily um, because they're looking at your face when they take that drape down. They're thinking, I want to watch the reaction that he has when he sees this because that's a tell-all. If you act surprised, obviously, you know, they're going to be heartbroken, so you can't do that, obviously. All right, so Anna's going to come in and go over the care instructions with you and she'll okay. manage up get you ready for the road. Right. And I'll see you out here when you're done. All right, thank you. My latest apprentice is my daughter, Anna. Um, she's 20 years old, soon to be 21. And she brings all the qualities that I'm looking for in uh, not just an apprentice, but an apprentice that's going to be doing the breast cancer tattoos. Cam saw tank top on top to hold them in place. Okay. If you want to use tape because you normally wear like t-shirts to bed, that's fine. Conscientious, compassionate, um, artistic, reliable. You have to cater to the women. You have to, you know, be sensitive to the fact that they had a double mastectomy, they went through all this reconstruction, many times had chemo and radiation. Right. You can come on out when you're done. All right, thank you. No problem. The closer it gets to me actually doing the tattooing and you know, people here saying things to me like, this is gonna be so wonderful when you're doing this, that's when it really sinks in. It's, it's, it's an awesome feeling. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.